Hello, welcome back to Netrunner from the San Francisco Bay Area. I have here a game night kit from November 20th. This was Intervention was the data pack. Uh, some carrots are in play here. No, thank game you. Game declined. No, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. From The player on the left is Andrew, who is also commentating this. How are you doing tonight, Andrew? I'm great, but I'm carrot-free for at least uh, 25 years, so just to give you no a No rabbit food for the, the boy from the Midwest. And we have John Travernus on the right, Joseki online, uh, taking some credits to start off the game. We got Ice Ice Sweeps Week. How do you feel about that play as an opening? Uh, you know, honestly, I wanted three Sweeps Week, but two Ice and one Sweeps Week, I can't complain. Okay, and we have what looks to be noise here on the right side of the table, but <laughs> <laughs> that is Kate. That is Kate. We have Aesops yeah. and Cashdown. So, uh, what is your deck all about? We're Harishandra, Harishandra? Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's good enough for me. Um, so, Harishandra, uh, essentially, there's two reasons I played Harishandra. Uh, is one is it's got 17 influence. That is pretty cool. Uh, and then second off, uh, just for tempo hits, because this deck is all about tempo hits, I like to, uh, when the runner takes a tag, for whatever reason, I get to see their hand, and then I'll use Salem's to just do the biggest tempo hit that I can. Speaking of tempo hits, I'm noticing that you have some of your cards upside down in your hand. Is there a reason why you have some cards upside down in your hand? Uh, I go both ways. That's uh, I'll okay. leave that open ended. Let's yeah, let's leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, so John here, he did take a mulligan to start a game. I don't think you did, and he had Parisha installed, and he just he just used that to take money, seeing that you don't really appear to be installing assets, so he might not need Parisha this game. Clot in the bin. Right. Leave it. Leave it there. I'm not fast at Employee answer. strike. No respect for your ID. Whatever. None shown. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, good call. Yeah. See, he, he would have played that and would have got you do target and marketing for employee strike, right? Uh, no way. No way. That fizzles out, <laughs> my friend. I read the rules once. Oh, you figured that out. So what did you call here? Do you remember? I couldn't oh, remember. I definitely called Tamusian. <laughs> like, okay. 1,000%. If it's an Anarch deck, it's essentially if it's a runner deck, probably Tamusian. <laughs> if it's a runner deck, call Tamusian. <laughs> Good rule of thumb on uh, target marketing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that is... Uh, how do you pronounce this card? Sad- Sadajaya? Uh, just make it up as you go. It's fine. Okay, yeah. we're going to go with Sadajaya. <laughs> this is the Deva. The Devas are the ones that you can swap around. That if the ice has three or more subtypes, you can break for like one credit to break a subroutine. Oh my god, wait, what is going on here? He just uh, he just is trying to Faust you or something? <laughs> no, no, he's just he's just showing me what's installed oh, on tagged. the board. Oh, yeah, that's right, I get yes. to see his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is Data Raven into Data Ward, so... Uh, it's some type of NBN combo. I'm not sure, I haven't read up on it too much, but let's find out together, shall we? Yeah, so Data Ward is now just a huge pain to get through, but luckily John has New Angeles, so he he knows what you're all about. Oh yeah, he'll be able to get right through that, no problem. But Data Raven, I don't think has three subtypes. I think it's a tracer. No, it does have three subtypes. It it's, does. Yes, what is it? It's, oh, sentry. It's sentry tracer, tracer and um, observer. Observer, yeah. Oh my god, I always wonder what observer <laughs> was for. We figured it out. It's for this. It's exactly for this, right? They saw this. Yeah, uh, this. I've always tried to figure out what observer. It's it, it's hunter. Data Raven. There's like some other piece of ice that got released recently that has it. Oh, I think the dog NBN ice that uh, it's like trace one for how many you're successful you can like trash something from their hand i don't know it's a really early ice it's like first cycle or something like that i think that's the other one yeah yeah that could be so he's going into the remote to see the napd yep that oh not even advanced no just let it just you know so he might steal it just to clear the target marketing uh, especially if he has temujin in hand and he's letting it go interesting yeah he's just i just let him think about it that's what i figured my play was um so he's had 11 credits i think Yes. That, yeah, I think it's two yeah. fives and a one. Yeah, two fives and a one. So that would put him down quite low. I guess he's figuring it's okay if you score that one. It's going to take up your scoring remote for at least a couple turns, and you're pretty low on money. Right, yeah. So it's an interesting play. So right here, I'm probably digging for a hedge fund desperately so that I can restructure. Ah, uh, okay. And then I know I just did the one of draw right there um, instead of the Jackson draw just because I wanted to discard exactly three cards. Because I think I probably had three agendas in my hand, which I wanted to get rid of desperately. 
So, what is your overall strategy here with uh, with this deck? Uh, I mean, the idea is that I'm just taxing the runner constantly, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like not paying your taxes, but for like four years in a row. So that's the idea. Oh, there's that. Oh, they, there's oh, there's a card I'm looking for. It's coming. Hey, that worked out for you. The pop up window putting up five credits right into the hedge fund. Exactly. Bingo, bingo. And it looks like a. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing John is not going to be using that swap ability on a day. Five. Yeah, yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Someone was talking about wanting like a neutral. I think Eric was talking about wanting a neutral Deva that was zero credits install, and all it did was had swap ability. Right, right. <laughs> you can use this to circumvent this. <laughs> he, he says he's going to win worlds next year, and then that's the card he's going to design. That's pretty spicy. It's like you know, three years from now. Hey guys, remember Deva's? <laughs> LOL. They're, they're back. <laughs> so we got a pa- so, we got that card no one can pronounce. Uh, Pancha Tantra Natra Tantra. Uh, you had it right until you kept adding more. Uh, I, I just wanted to be sure, it. just in case. Okay. Yeah. You had yeah. it. So John here is a very interesting uh, econ spread. Well, you you have a very simple one. You're just like play the operations that give you money. Like you, we see your whole economy here in archives. So right that's now. a big thing that just happened. Is I just sub boosted okay. the data ward. So now he yes. has to break it whether he's tagged or not. At least the last sub of it. Yeah, the interaction here, so Data Ward like only has the subroutines if oh getting the Astro script. That's pretty good. Losing the New Angeles, so that that might not be a big deal actually, right. considering that he's gonna have to break the data ward anyway because you got sub boost on it. Exactly. So yeah. Yeah, so now sub boost has an end the run subroutine on it and it's eight strength, so no matter what, you're gonna have to get whatever up to eight strength and then break it. Data ward is just a barrier though right? correct right so when you sub boost it it literally has no downside it just adds and it it doesn't sub. it do, and you don't gain that sub type in terms of uh the, the deva it doesn't have two barrier sub right it still just has one exactly barrier so right yeah. that's an important thing especially with uh panatantra down exactly but you know john appears to be just ignoring your uh, napds and going <laughs> right into r&d through the pop-up window yeah I am okay, so really doing... slow rolling this. <laughs> so what this signals to me is that you're definitely planning to take on a bunch of bad publicity here this turn by resing some illicit ice on HQ. Oh, absolutely. I just want to... Uh, wanna... So you're going to have to over-advance NAPD. Oh, yeah, totally. I'm just trying to prepare. <laughs> so how many games have you lost because of your playing against Valencia with NAPD in your deck? Uh, almost none because... So in this version, um, which was just this day... I only had one Elizabeth Mills, as I recall, but now I run two. So I try to avoid that as much as possible. <laughs> you had Elizabeth Mills in this deck? Yeah, I believe I have one in this deck. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <clears throat> okay, so John uses SMC to go get cash before his turn starts, using cash, huge value. Yeah. Getting a credit on Tech Writer, getting uh, five, six credits out of that with the Kate install, just uh, massive, massive amounts of money here. Right, it's an he absolute into... huge credit swing for, for John, so that's like super, super good for him. Yeah. Heading into R&D. Yeah. Who cares? I don't care. It's a pop-up window. I got a dollar. What do you got? He got... He got. <laughs> 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 that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> he, see, he doesn't need to bother with your remote server, because he has you on lock, right. and you know... Lock established, uh, so we think. Yeah. What can you do? It's not It's not like you're going to have another Data Ward and Sub Boost combo. Oh, I right? don't know. That might be really weird. Oh. Okay, there's uh-oh. Data Ward There's now. one half. And advance. I figured, I figured, you know what? If I get to two points, that's a little bit bigger than zero points, and that's pretty good for me. Oh, you're... you're oh, my God. I just saw it in hand. You, you seriously have the combo again? Oh, uh, it's probably a double combo type of deal. I mean, that's just my guess. I don't know. I'm not piloting the deck or anything. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's seen that that uh, sub boost in your hand, but he sees you know one sub boost on the table, so it's pretty likely you have another one ready to go. Yep, potentially. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he's going to do about data ward. Uh, I guess he gets another Panatantra down, and then he can break it. Oh, he also got Temujin down. I didn't notice that. Right, he just installed that uh, right before okay. that run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that if he'll he'll need another source of money here. He can. What can he do? He can maybe sell the console. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, any good, any never in a card is a good card to Aesop. <laughs> yeah, no, in, in our card reviews, you always are like, well, you can sell it to Aesop, right? Exactly. <laughs> 
We should, why don't we say that with ice and uh, security subcontract? Remember that card? Uh, no, that's in the binder where it belongs. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't fit that into noise, so I don't know about it. Oh my god! So we got a double combo, a sub boost, plus bomb. And, bomb. and, I, and you're just gonna score breaking news. That so you're not even like you're, you don't even care about the tags nah, of breaking news. Who cares? You're just like whatever. I need points. That's what I need. Yeah. <laughs> you need to stop him from getting points. I noticed you also drew a data raven, so you could just put the data raven. On top of the data ward, which is sub boosted, and then you just have the, the old pop up window down there just in case he gets through. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah, I wonder what else John has. In. So he could, he could get another Punitantra going, then he's through the data ward. That has to be a huge. That's probably six credits of boost, right? Right. The Deva is probably one to one and then one per subroutine? Correct, yeah. Okay, so he, he does have a way through. It's going to cost him just a massive amount of money. Though. Yeah, yeah, he, he can absolutely get through, but the amount of times is severely limited. Okay, so it looks like he just he sold off Tech uh, tech Writer to Aesop's just to get a little bit of burst money here. Mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't want to run R&D again yet because you didn't draw any cards, so he knows uh, the top two cards of R&D. Right. Okay, so you get, oh, exchange of information. Yeah, so I'm probably slamming down breaking news here. I'm advancing once or twice. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So I know what I'm doing here. So uh, at least I believe that's breaking news. And uh, the idea here is that I installed an NAPD and that he's going to have to spend a ton of money to get through and he doesn't want to do that. But now I can just then... choose not to score as soon as his tune st turn starts. Uh, score it, exchange it for NAPD or Astro, which is one point more, and then keep on going. Yeah, that's you know. Do you even have GFI in the deck? I do. I do. I have three. Okay, yeah, you do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people want to wait for that play, but right here, you know, you'd, you'd be up to uh, five points. Uh, in that case, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be five. Yeah, right. you'd yeah. be up to five, and he's back down to three. Right. That's that's real. Then you got a, this extremely strong never advance right. server. Do you run Beals? No, no Beals in this no deck. No Beals. Yeah. yeah, you're on NAP. I mean, yeah. So like the idea okay. with this is that it's just to have the Argus mentality of like I'm going to constantly make you do a basic action, but I'm going to make you do it over and over and over and over again, and most likely you won't be able to sustain, and then I'll just win. It's I'm going to out taxi is the idea. So sure. Yeah. Oh, I suppose even uh, Global Food here wouldn't win it for you. Right. Oh, you know, his, his best play here is to put down Artist Colony, go get a couple cards. Uh, no, it's actually Data <laughs> Dealer, uh, but you were, you, oh, you were, you were yeah. almost there. <laughs> or double double frame jump. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then you can't score the NAPD. The double. Oh, is this just a... Oh, no, this is a GFI. I am. My apologies. Okay. Oh. So, okay, yeah. Okay. I, all right. Sorry. I, I have them in the deck, <laughs> very obviously. You, 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 you even tricked us. Yeah, exactly. Um, But, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the whole thing is, like, as soon as they've seen an NAPD, is it... Is it a breaking news? Is it an NAPD? Is it a GFI? That's that's the fun part of it, is you have to do the guessing game. And so you are primarily using Hirshandra on Data Raven and then targeted marketing? Is that sort of your leveraging of that ability? Uh, it's mostly Data Raven and then if the runner goes tag me. But um, I, I mean, the way I was looking at it is NEH has 17 influence, but I'm not going, for, I'm not going horizontal. So I okay, may as well yeah. do Hirshandra. Yeah. And get a, you get a little bit of information. You know when you have a scoring window right. for GFI or just even some breaking news play, whatever. You don't have fast advance. Right, right? exactly. Yeah. 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 So. All right. So he is getting through in R&D. I think it has been at least a couple turns. So he's going to... Oh, yeah. So he's double... He's double dogging. Okay. <laughs> double. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> double panatan. He's like giving a console and you know, a century <laughs> or some nonsense. That's the yeah. best thing you can do. Just give it a console. Exactly. So he's a pop-up. I don't know. And I don't know. Right. Okay. Yeah, he... Oh, man. He really can't afford to do that that often. No, exactly. Yeah. Oh, and then I just... Yeah. I just score... Uh, breaking news because it was oh, it was God, sitting in my hand in, huh? right yeah, yeah yeah you were at six wow yeah yeah that that, that data ward is just was yeah there's there's no real good answer for that right now huh? yeah it's just extremely brutal i mean if you would have corroder paperclip i mean that stuff is really hard and um if they have something like natch you know which is super popular now just because everyone's tired of ctm um sub boosting the data ward makes them boost 
at least six for the most part, um, minus Data Suckers, Ice Carver, and all that nonsense. Um, yeah, sure. So, it's, I mean, yeah. no one's happy about that though. Right. Like, if you sub boost, <laughs> yeah, n- no one, no one's looking at it going like, oh, I can take advantage of this. Exactly. Right. Like, I, I don't. Know, I guess David, David Natch would be your best. <laughs> like the fact that even when you sub boost, it's not just a matter of breaking it. It's that you have an on encounter effect to deal with now. Totally right. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's very much so a. Dirty architect uh type of mind where your you know thought process where you're like how much text can i actually fit on this card and then you know <laughs> it's it's good oh. enough yeah that, that was very good sequencing we didn't i don't think we really got a good chance to see too much of john's deck there uh, mm-hmm. being displayed mostly because of just uh, the extreme speed of all that right? oh yeah that was that was very fast <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, he he got set up pretty well. I I I, I have a feeling there's a little bit more going on in this deck that we didn't like get a chance to really see. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah, I didn't get a chance to play him at this tournament. Anyway, any any last comments on that game? No, I mean that's just a I mean that's just like a fun deck. Um, it's certainly susceptible to card order. Um, I do run Sunset in that deck, which is other <laughs> other binder fodder, uh, if you will. <laughs> um, just because you just do one Sunset. So yeah, in that deck, I have one Sunset, um, and then the other kind of trick thing that I have for non-Natch players is I have Universal Connectivity Fee, um, which oh, which yeah. is super good because yeah. like if you have Data Raven Connectivity Fee and APD, they're just not stealing it. Um, yeah. So sand, connectivity fee, if they're yeah. tagged and they hit it, they it's closed account. Right. And otherwise, they hit it and it's a it doesn't have a type. It's a trap eight, trap whatever. Right. So they lose a credit when they hit it. Uh, yeah, you hit me with that real hard one one tournament. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's pretty fun. But, all right. Uh, yeah, it's a fun deck. Um, NBN needed well, a lot more power cards, and it's good that they got them. Let, let's hopefully I'll remember to do this. I can't guarantee it, but let's get the list going, and I'll, I'll link it in the YouTube description here so people can check it out. Yeah, totally. Look at your tech. All right, that is the game. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll have more up on the channel very soon. Cool. Thanks everyone.